Hey, what is up guys? I have a new video today. I had this idea of, of doing a small illustration. Now, I know this sketch is not much and it doesn't look like something very complicated, but I wanted to try out some ideas and some techniques. So, ended up with this uh, basic idea of just having a guy on a road uh in the middle of the forest so that was the basic idea i'm not sure if the sun is going to be if it's going to be a sunset or a sunrise <laughs> but i'm just gonna try some uh, techniques out and starting with the sketch i'll be doing shapes using the pen tool here i'll just be doing shapes for every single element on the page so let's go ahead and get started I wanted to slow everything down here just because I'm I've just added a layer on top of every single shape as you can see I've defined every single element with a particular shape and added the layer on top of every single one and using the command command alt G I'll create a clipping mask for each element so whenever I'm drawing or adding details uh, I want to make sure that uh, the changes I'm making are applying only to that specific element and they don't affect uh, anything that's around them. This is pretty important being uh, at the beginning of the process. So let's um, select a particular layer and let me just fill it up with some color. Now I will be using gradients first. So let me sample those two colors and hitting G you can uh, have the gradient tool and just start using it. Once I have uh, the colors uh, placed down, I really like the range of colors I have for the mountains. So to add details and to add depth to them, I simply make sure that I'm on the layer where the color is placed. And using the lasso tool, I just select a particular uh, section and using the gradient tool, I sample colors and just uh, drag it on top of it giving it more depth. Now I have no idea what I'm doing here really. I'm just experimenting and you have to, to understand this process. Even though I kind of hate how the clouds ended up looking, yes, those are clouds. Uh, I want to give it more texture. So I'll be ending up using an airbrush uh, brush with some grain in it. 
so I'm just trying to go on every single layout and try to blend in colors or try to blend in certain elements with the background or with elements next to it by using a grainy brush. This is something I've seen in a lot of illustrations where you just highlight the edges of certain elements that get in contact or get hit by uh, the light source. Uh, for example, in this illustration, the light from the sun, I want it to be more evident that it hits the uh, mountains. So using the, uh, the, le the lasso tool, I just do a couple of quick selections and I fill them up with a light yellow. Now I'm not too crazy about how the clouds look, maybe just because it looks like a lot of lens flares, but I want to encapsulate the whole illustration into a random shape. So to do that I created a shape, a random shape as you, <laughs> as you expected and just created the mask over the whole illustration and masked it of course. I really like how the illustration fades in in the bottom half so to help it a bit i just took a soft brush and just added a couple more uh, color uh, the same color that's in the background just to make it uh, to make that effect even more prominent uh, now at the end of the process i like to go back and see how uh, w with what we started and how we added more details how we added the clouds, starting adding texture, and in the app, uh, ending up with this illustration. Hopefully you liked it, and let me know if you have any questions. As always, I'd be more than happy to help you. And till next time, see ya.